To determine whether SF2 is polar or nonpolar, we'll first look at the Lewis structure. We can see we have those two fluorines on either side of the sulfur, but we also have these two pairs of lone pair electrons, and they figure in to the geometry of the SF2 molecule. So according to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, these fluorines and these two lone pairs of electrons, they're going to spread out. And when they do, they're going to give us a molecular geometry that looks like this. You can see here that we have the two lone pairs on the top, and then the fluorine atoms are forced down to the bottom. Note that in this model, the colors for fluorine are not correct, but the geometry is correct. So as the electron pairs and the fluorine spread out, we end up with this bent geometry. And what we can see from this is that we have two unequal sides. We have the sides where the fluorines are and then the side where those lone pair electrons are at. So because we have these unequal sides, this molecule is not symmetrical, and we have a negative and a positive side. That makes this a polar molecule. So SF2 is a polar molecule because of those differences in electronegativity. This is Dr. B with the Polarity for SF2, and thanks for watching.